Hello, math geniuses. It's time to solve a system with elimination, my very favorite method. But the catch is we have to use the standard form of linear equations, and these equations are not in standard form. Remember I said standard form is where the x and the y term are together on one side of the equal sign and the number terms <coughs> are on the other side. So I'm going to have to rewrite these. I'm going to subtract 3y from both sides of this equation so that line 1 takes this form. Okay, and I'm going to have to subtract 2y from both sides and 4 from both sides so that line 2 becomes 5x minus 2y equals negative 4 because I subtracted 4 from both sides. Okay, now this is my system. Both of these lines are in standard form. And the whole idea of elimination is that I can add the two lines together and one of my variables will, will um, <coughs> zero out. So let's see. If I add these two lines together, I'll add my x's together, 4x plus 5x equals 9x. That's not zero. And if I add my negative 3y to my negative 2y, that's negative 5y, that is not 0. So I'm going to have to make some changes. So I want you to think about this. If I were to multiply every number in line 1 by 5 and every number in line 2, by negative 4, look at what would happen. Line 1 would become 20x minus 15y equals negative 25. And line 2 would become, if I multiplied all these numbers by negative 4, would become negative 20x plus 8y equals positive 16. Now, if I were to add the x terms together and the y terms together and the number terms together, look what would happen. 20x minus 20x is 0. They zero out and I'm left with negative 15y plus 8y. I believe that's going to be negative 7y. And negative 25 plus 16 is going to be negative 9. Now, if I divide both sides by negative 7 so I can get the y by itself, I discover that y equals negative over negative is positive, so y will equal positive 9 7 So, what do I know? I know that the solution set, or the solution rather, the point, that is the point of intersection, so that's the solution of my system, is going to be positive 9 sevenths. That was cool. Let's do it again. The original system was 4x minus 3y equals negative 5, and 5x minus 2y equals negative 4. And now, yep, here's line 1, here's line 2. Now, I have to figure out how I could make, if I added these two lines together, how I could make my y terms also cancel out. 
turn to zero when you add them. And let's see, if I were to multiply the top line by negative 2 and the bottom line by positive 3, you don't have to do it exactly this way, but this is the idea. I would have, I would have line 1 would become negative 8x plus 6y equals positive 10 and line 2 would become 15x minus 6y equals negative 12. Okay, well for sure my y terms are going to zero out. Now negative 8x plus 15y, uh, pl negative 8x plus 15x is 7x and 10x plus negative 12x is negative 2. And so if I divide both sides by 7, I will have x equals negative 2 sevenths. Now, I admit that I really am not overly anxious to test those fractions in the original answer in the original problem, you know, to put the x, to put negative two-sevenths in for x and nine-sevenths in for y. So I think, oh, it would be an excellent opportunity to use the graphing calculator. Maybe I should do exactly that. Let's check our answers. Because the graphing calculator can help us enormously. Now let's see, our answers were negative two sevenths, nine sevenths. Oh. There we go. Now, my first equation, my original equation is four x equals 3y minus 5. So let's see, I'll put that number in for x and this number in for y. I'm not going to sweat the fractions because I have, a, I have a TI graphing calculator. 4 times negative 2 sevenths is what I'll have on the left. And on the right, I'll have 3 times 9 sevenths minus Five. Okay, I'm going to bring up the calculator. There it is. Okay, I'm going to turn it on and on. And now I'm going to do, um, let's move it over here so I can see the paper. Okay, I'm going to say four parentheses, negative two divided by seven, parentheses closed, and instead of saying enter, I'm going to push the math button, and look at that frac. Frac means fraction. The one by frac is already highlighted, so I'm going to say enter enter, and now I know. The left side of the equation is negative 8 sevenths. Now, is that going to equal all this stuff over on the right? Let's see. If I say, I sure do hope it does, 3 parentheses 9 divided by 7, parentheses closed, minus 5 math Frac, enter. 
I get negative 8 7 so it works in the first equation. But when I'm using elimination, I have to check both equations. So let me move the calculator over. The second original equation was 5x plus 4 equals 2y. Okay, I'm going to take negative 2 sevenths and put it in for the x. equals 2 times 9 sevenths. Okay. Now I'm going to clear and I'm going to start again. All right, 5. Whoops, whoops, yeah, move the calculator. Okay. So I'll have 5 parentheses negative 2 divided by 7, parentheses closed, plus 4, math frac. Math, enter, enter. So 18 sevenths over here on the left, and over on the right I'll have 2 parentheses, 9 sevenths, parentheses closed, math, enter, enter, 18 sevenths. So, <clears throat> both equations <clears throat> give me a true. That means this is our answer. So now I'm going to put it in the answer box, move the calculator over. This would be good. Okay, now, we have fractions. <clears throat> and in fact, I have a negative fraction for the x. So, I'm going to, s I'm going to push the negative sign first. Uh, no, I'm not. All right, let's clear that. Trying to be so fancy, never mind. Here we go. <clears throat> They're both fractions, so I'm going to click fraction, and I will say, because this is our x-coordinate, I will say, in front of the fraction, there will be a negative, and then a 2 on top, and a 7 on the bottom, and then I'll jump over to the other coordinate, again, I'll enter a fraction box and I'll say 9 on top and 7 on the bottom and I'll save. Oh, that's right. Okay, okay. Check answer. Well done. This was a really long problem. I think I'll go ahead and uh, uh, sign off for now.